Currently here with John Kim eating a donut. Very nice. We're at LAX right now and we are gonna be boarding to Atlanta, Georgia in about 40 minutes. I'm doing a short video project with Samok. So we're literally flying out at night, arriving in the morning. After we shoot all day, we're gonna head back to the airport and fly back to LA. In the beginning, I was gonna go by myself. And then John, just asked me out of nowhere. He was like, can I go with you? And I was like, dude, yes. And so we're here at the airport, about to board, super excited. How are you feeling about it? Excited? John hasn't flown in 10 years, 10 years. All right, so John and I finally landed. Thank you. All right, so for the sake of the vlog, I'm just gonna call Samok Smok, all right? Just to make it shorter. We're gonna take a train and we're gonna meet Smok at a train stop and then he's gonna pick us up and he's gonna take us to his studio. So let me just share my thought process and how I'm feeling right now with you guys. Literally, John and I, were only here for like 12, 13, 14 hours and so we're gonna try to make, you know, the best use of that time. So I met Samok a couple years back through Jay Han, who is Uzuhan now, and then I we ate Korean barbecue with Samok after Project Light. We've connected, so I think throughout this whole trip and this whole experience, I'm just hoping to get to know him a little more on a personal level to build up that relationship to see if we can do anything later on in the future. I respect Samok so much because he has values and he sticks to those values and he, he's a person of faith and I love his work, his music, his consistency. And overall, he's just a really nice guy. So I don't think anything's gonna go wrong. I think the only thing I'm afraid of is not having enough to do. I expect things to go wrong, but in the end, there has to be a lot of improvising uh, throughout the process. So uh, I'm just gonna trust God and that he's gonna do everything wonderfully. What are these? Delta. Delta. <laughs> just met Elaine right over here. Thanks, Elaine. She just gave us a little toilet trees. And yeah, for the yeah. trip. Yeah. Yeah. Hotels in a bag. Yes. Currently we're waiting for Smock. He'll be here in about five minutes. Hello. Wow. <laughs> How are you? Welcome, welcome you. to the Atlanta. Thank you so Good. much. So, so far we shot majority of the shots. There's still one more video that we got to work on. This is James, also known as Uzuhan. Oh, yes. oh you're filming Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This is Samok's corner. He, this is where he does all his music. I think it's currently tw around 12 and um, did majority of our shots. Gonna quickly look over the footage to see if they work out. And if they do, we'll just move forward. If not, we'll do reshoot them. Yeah, Smok and I and John, we had a good conversation about like faith, art, just artists in general, problems today, things we're concerned about, but things to be excited for. I'll share with more of that with you guys later on. Uh, but it's been really good. And we talked for like two, three hours. None of it was recorded, but I'll share with you guys later. Oh, check this out. This is El Rey Del Taco on Buford Highway. It's like a, it's like a, you got your tacos and stuff, but it's it's just pretty decent. I like this place because the chips they give you, the chips and salsa they give you. Well, I don't know if this is necessarily the best taco in Atlanta, but I love the accessibility. It's open till 3 a.m. Great value. Um, great value. Mm. They also have chips and salsa. Um, yeah, I just like everything here. Nice. It's just not the best, but it's really good. Very decent. This is what I'm eating. That's what John's eating. Yo, get that hot sauce in. Yeah. Burn. So they're saying this hot doing? sauce, after five minutes, it burns a lot. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot? Oh gosh. No, you should be fine. Well, I just made like a rough um, beat just so that it would inspire some uh, melodies and lyrics and stuff like that. I don't know. I keep thinking of that Mariah Carey song. When you let the let the fun of me. Loving the rhythm and boom. Loving the bap and the boom. It's that yellow music playing. Yeah, I like the rhythm. Oh, so I'm taking the bigger chunk. Actually, no, I need to add four more. 
We're just we're just making it up as we go. Like Sam told me this morning he wants to make a song and then we're just we made a we already made a hook. Um, we already made like a like a bridge second portion of the chorus and then we I mean he already wrote like almost half his he wrote his half his verse and I just I'm almost getting to half the words. I think I'm gonna John and I are very, very tired, but we're hanging on. All right, so we're starting our second shoot, which is going to be a whole like Q&A session where you guys ask all these questions, you'll be answering them. All right, so we are officially done with all the interviews. We literally talked, I think, a, to a collective total amount of five to six hours, probably. Yeah, the whole day. How'd you feel? Uh, I just realized during these conversations that there's still so much I do not know. <laughs> I know very little. But I'm happy to share what I've learned in my own journey. So as you guys know, you guys know that I love pizza. I just found out he loves pizza. Probably more than I do. Or I don't know actually, because I could eat it every day. And I choose it over Korean food. Okay, I don't love it as much. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're currently here at Antico Pizza. Sam will explain what it's about. What is it? What is it? I'm not gonna overhype it. It's just, it's pizza. Just good pizza? Yeah. Really good pizza? I'm not gonna say anything. It's just pizza. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Did you say two more? Yeah, I'm gonna take the rest home. Okay. My, my, my wife really loves this place. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Had a hard time. My pleasure. We ate. I didn't eat all of it. John, did you eat all of it? No, you left one left over? I left two. John left two. I think I ate all mine. You ate all yours. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, today's day has concluded and we're gonna say bye to Sam. But thank you so much for taking us around. He took us around everywhere. He brewed us coffee, he took care of us, and we slept on his couch. <laughs> and, uh, and he answered all of our questions without complaining. So thank you so much. Thank you guys for stopping by Atlanta, uh, making the trip out here, coming into my home and my workplace and uh, tasting a little bit of my life and I hope that I have uh, spoken to you in some way shape or form inspired you to do uh, what you love uh, passionately and authentically and with purpose and yeah shout out to V3 you guys are awesome <laughs> Sam Ox signing out It's currently 10.38. John and I officially checked into the airport. We're in my flight around 6.30 a.m. So I have to wait eight hours here and then my flight takes off. But John, on the other hand, you have 12 hours. 12 hours. More than 12 hours. More than 12 hours. John has to wait more than 12 hours in the airport. You're living here for a day. Yeah, pretty much. We're gonna talk for a little bit. I'll be editing videos. You'll probably nap while I'm editing. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna switch spots. I'm gonna go onto the plane, nap there, he's gonna work. I left my hydro flask and bag of snacks in Sam Mock's car, so he can have them. Hope you enjoy them, Sam. Other than that, this was like an unreal experience. Not the fact that we like did the whole thing with Sam, more like leaving, coming, spending a whole day, and going back. It's If you're ever thinking about doing that, it's not a bad idea, it's just be prepared to have a lot of coffee and have the appropriate amount of energy. Anyway, I'll be ending this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you're new, welcome. Remember to stay passionate, inspired, and grateful in all that you guys do. Look forward to the next few videos over. Good night, good morning, adios. Currently it's 3 a.m. and uh, I still got three more hours to go until I board. I've been editing the interview and it's pretty good so far. John, on the other hand, has a uh, Totally knocked out, and the uh, and the airport is empty. Everything is closed, which is a very interesting experience because this is the first time I checked in this early. Kind of feels nice. No pressure. You get to just relax, get to work. 
Awesome.